The main reason why this unit was established is due to the, the asset management in terms of record keeping, in terms of where all our asset lies, and also the identification as to be a single point of proof within the organization. There's also a source of information regarding what are assets, regarding in other information related matters, because there should be a source of single proof within any organization or a utilities company that that information should be within a metadata of data. This is uh, one of the new achievements for Water Authority, uh, GIS Water Authority, the, the, new, the, the new installation, the new base station that has been installed uh, lately. Uh, this is uh, what uh, we need in order to do the differential correction after doing the capturing out there from the field. Uh, before we normally borrow the uh, base files for, from SOPEC, after doing this uh, capturing out in the field. But since we have our own base stations, our own base station, we are fortunate enough to, to get our own base file. We can uh, do the differential correction uh, more quickly rather than uh, waiting for other, rather than waiting for SOPEC to, or borrowing base files from other organizations. This is uh, one of the uh, uh, most uh, achievements that uh, GIS have uh, uh, reached out uh, since 2015. Okay, the role of GIS within WEF is uh, that it talks about the data acquisition, it talks about uh, data management, it talks about uh, data selling, and it talks about special nested So for me, to define data acquisition, it talks about data gathering. And those data are linked together where the entire WOF organization, they can view all the application from water pipes to water meters. JS will benefit WEF in terms of decision making. What I said before is to be more precisely accurate in terms of providing data for water authority. We are here to capture the manhole. We take the lead level with the GPS. Once it open, we look for the satellite, get more satellite. Then we create it, create a folder to store the file for this uh, manholes. And then we put the GPS on top and name this point. That's it. Then we take the data to the office to download. GIS is a very important tool here in call center. All CSRs, they must have access to this tool, enable for them to locate the correct meters and also the DMAs. And also for water cut coordinators. This tool is very important for them to be able to know the exact, the right number of services affected by any burst meal. Welcome to Water Force to Fiji. This is Manoa. Bolomini. Bolomini. We have detected the burst towards Bolomini Reservoir in the north. Right. Just work out the number of services that will be affected. Kaniho. 
So you're the only one affected. How about the neighbors? Thank you, Millie. Total service affected is 1,209. Thank you. Total customers affected is 6,045. And the total number of customers that will be affected is 6,045. That's correct. Thank you, Thank you for calling. Goodbye. What JS gives us is uh, the locality of pipes, meters connected, and locations of all the assets, meaning above, reservoirs, we doing sewers. This also shows the location of main hole, the area covered by sewage. If you look uh, into the current system, well, this is what GIS is, has. Uh, is giving us. It shows the pipe localities. If you zoom more into it, it shows the number of meters connected. It also shows the DMA zonings. So this information we import it and place it in the water model. Since the GIS has already captured number of meters, um, number of meters gives out the demand. It has the current pipe. So when we bring in video source and connect it to the existing system, we are able to determine okay this is the current pipe depending on the future growth rate and future expansion what would be the pipe diameter be in the next 20 years so from according to that we start our planning stage so when actually when the project is being implemented we ensure that uh, project is being uh, carried out according to what is being planned for the next 20 years so that we are able to cater that population